So today I want to talk about uh, continuous loading, uh, specifically in the upper body. One of the biggest issues that I see with hitters is that they'll do this gather move and at the same time, they'll start to load their upper body. What tends to happen when we load in the negative move is that once the positive move starts, the upper body gets static. When the upper body gets static, we don't create any backside resistance. When we don't create any backside resistance, the hands and barrel tend to shoot to the front. We get out of sequence. That leads to a real steep uh, plane and it leads to us getting out on that front side as opposed to being able to stay back. So what we try to see with hitters is we know that the, there's going to be a forward move. We want to time our forward move with the load or time the load with the forward move so that the load overlaps with our launch. We want to continuously load the back side and the upper half as the lower half starts to drive. That only happens if the load is timed correctly. There are some guys that load early. Uh, there are some guys that start their load as they go back, but they continue to load through the launch. And that's really the overreaching uh, principle of fundamental that I'm trying to get across. Uh, I like to use a bag, you can use the corner of a wall to kind of teach them to load at the proper time. So if you get set up here, I've got my foot about even with the front side of this heavy bag here. If, if your hands hit this bag in your negative move, there's a good chance that you're loading too early, all right? We don't want our hands to really get over our back foot if we can help it. We want to stay in between our feet as much as possible. Now, if you have this gather move, there's a lot of things you can do. You can create like a little hitch. I know a lot of hitters like this little hitch or, or uh, tip. That's fine as long as they're not going back. Okay, so if you like the gather move, you can have a little hitch. You can just kind of keep the hands here. And once the forward move starts, then we should start to load. That allows you to keep your hands and keep your load in between your feet, in between your frame. All right, so heavy bag, the corner of a uh, wall, all those things can help you feel proper timing of the load and continuous load, overlapping load with the launch.